Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which he expressed deep condolences over the passing of His Royal Highness, Prince Abdulrahman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The custodian of the Two Holy Mosques expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments that reflect the deep of and historic relations between the two countries. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, conducted a visit to Mecca to convey his condolences, or rather the condolences of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, as well as to the princes and the sons of the late His Royal Highness, Prince Abdurrahman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness, Prince Abdurrahman, in eternal peace. Sheikh Mohammed had arrived to King Abdulaziz Airport, accompanied by a number of royal family members. At the forefront of his reception was the Deputy Governor of Mecca Region for Security Affairs, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Abdullah bin Jalawi, Bahraini Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Bahrain's Consul General in Jeddah, Ibrahim Al Maslamani. The National Guard commander headed to Mecca, where he performed the funeral prayers and offered his condolences. Later, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed returned to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized his advisor Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the reception ceremony hosted by the Ambassador of the Republic of France to Bahrain, Bernard Renault Fab, marking his country's National Day. The event was also attended by a number of ministers, senior officials and members of the diplomatic corps accredited to the Kingdom along with a number of guests. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the leadership and people of France on this national occasion, as well as his wishes of further progress and stability. He also affirmed the strength of the ties that bind the two countries, in addition to the cooperation witnessed in all fields, reflecting the mutual keenness to bolster frameworks of partnerships. For his part, the French ambassador expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Premier for his constant interest in strengthening bilateral relations, asserting his country's keenness to develop these relations in order to meet the common interests of both countries and realize the aspirations of their people. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdullah. Let's start with the local stocks for this week. As the Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 12 million, 11 million, I'm sorry, 231,629 shares worth 2,458,942 Bahrain dinars, concluded through 272 transactions. Investors traded in 23 companies, 11 of them witnessed a rise in shares, 5 fell and rest maintained their shares. The commercial banking sector was the leading sector and the industrial sector came in second. Second Vice Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Abdul Hamid Al Kohaji, alongside committee members, have recently held a joint meeting with the NIDO's Head of Investment and Technology Promotion Office in Bahrain, Dr. Hashim Hussain. The meeting discussed organizing joint events that target entrepreneurs and owners of small and medium enterprises in the industrial sector to address their areas of weaknesses, particularly in legal, marketing, and export matters. It also discussed encouraging the youth to venture in 
their sectors, as well as means to reinforce the sector's contribution to the national economy. Meanwhile, the committee held its regular meeting at Beta Tujar and discussed holding a seminar in cooperation with the Secretariat General of the GCC on dumping and its impact and measures to prevent it.